Hi welcome back again to Passion Bistro. Today I'm going to teach you a variety of garam masalas along with a few more masalas. I'm doing this video on a personal request I have been receiving from many of my viewers and friends. Hope you will enjoy learning from this video. Garam masala is a blend of ground spices used extensively in the Indian cuisine. We add garam masala to our recipes at the end like any topping ingredient as it retains the flavor of all the core ingredients. You can store these masalas in airtight jars and put them in the refrigerator. They stay fresh up to 4 months. The first garam masala that I'm going to teach you is the regular garam masala. Garam masala is believed to have originated in the North Indian cuisine where it is specially found in the traditional Mughal dishes. It is a blend of ground spices. Let's check the ingredients required to make this quick regular garam masala. Here we need 25 grams or 2 and a half tablespoons of green cardamom, 3 sticks of cinnamon, 1 inch each, 1 tablespoon or 10 grams of cloves. Simply put them in the grinder. Grind until turns to a fine powder. This is a super easy and aromatic regular garam masala. Store it in the airtight container. Half to 1 teaspoon of this regular garam masala can be added to your cooking as the final ingredient just before putting off the flame of your recipe. Hyderabadi kachi biryani masala. Hyderabadi kachi biryani originated in the kitchens of the Nizams of Hyderabad. It has a blend of Mughalai and Iranian cuisine. Its garam masala is quite simple yet stunningly aromatic. Let's check on the ingredients for the Hyderabadi kachi biryani garam masala. Here we need 25 grams or 2 and a half tablespoons of green cardamom, 1 tablespoon of black cumin or shahi zeera, 3 sticks of cinnamon 1 inch each. 1 tablespoon or 10 grams of cloves Add in all these ingredients to your grinder and grind Do not grind it too fine we need it to be slightly coarse Its aroma is amazing. You can add this Hyderabadi kachi biryani garam masala about 1 tablespoon to 1 and 1/2 kg of chicken or mutton. Zafrani garam masala, a seamless blend of multiple spices mixed with musky saffron. Zafrani garam masala is the finest blend that gives rich aroma and the distinctive taste to your meal. Let's check on to the ingredients required to make this rich and aromatic zafrani garam masala. For this garam masala, we need 25 grams or 2 and 1/2 tablespoons of green cardamom, 2 sticks of cinnamon 1 inch each, 5 grams or 1 teaspoon of peppercorns, 5 grams or 1 teaspoon of white cumin, 10 grams or 1 tablespoon of cloves, 4 black cardamom, 2 bay leaves, 1 teaspoon of saffron Put in the cinnamon cloves cumin peppercorns black cardamom green cardamom and saffron in the grinder and grind until it turns to a fine powder store in airtight jars the zafran garam masala can be used about half to 1 teaspoon to quarter kg of vegetable or 3/4 to 1 to 1/2 teaspoon to 1 kg of meat or chicken nihari garam masala 
Nihari is one of the delicious spiced meat broth which according to many sources originated in Hyderabad or Old Delhi. This recipe was made in the royal kitchens of the Mughal Empire in Awadh which is the modern day Lucknow. Let's check on the ingredients required to make Nihari masala. We need 25 grams or 2 and a half tablespoons of fennel seeds, 1 teaspoon of cloves, 2 bay leaves, 5 big cardamom, 5 sticks of cinnamon, 1 tablespoon of peppercorns, 1 tablespoon of green cardamom, 1 teaspoon of white cumin seeds, 1 tablespoon of dry ginger powder, 1 tablespoon of red chili powder. If you like it spicy, you may add 2 tablespoons of chili powder instead of 1. 1 tablespoon of black cumin or shahi zeera, 1 tablespoon of mace or javatri, half a nutmeg or jaifal. Crush the nutmeg before you add it to your grinder so that it doesn't spoil the blades. I'm adding in cinnamon sticks followed by the green cardamom, crushed nutmeg, cloves, half a nutmeg or jaifal, mace, peppercorns, white cumin, black cumin, dry ginger powder and the fennel seeds. Grind until it turns to a fine powder. Now remove this in a bowl and add in the red chilli powder and mix it well. Now break the bay leaves and add them to the prepared Nihari masala powder. Add in a few black cardamom, a few cloves and green cardamom. Mix well and store in airtight jars and put them in the refrigerator. You can add 1 to 2 tablespoons of this Nihari masala to 1 kg of meat. It looks and smells awesome. Korma masala. Korma is a dish originating in the Indian subcontinent traced back to the 16th century. It was often prepared in the Mughal court kitchens. Let's move on to check the spices required for korma masala. We need 3 tablespoons of chili powder, 1 tablespoon of fennel seeds, 1 tablespoon whole peppercorn, 1 tablespoon white cumin, 6 to 7 pieces of mace, 10 to 15 cloves, 5 sticks of cinnamon 1 inch each, 2 bay leaves broken into 6 to 7 pieces, 25 grams green cardamom, 6 to 7 big cardamom, 1 nutmeg crushed, and 4 tablespoons of coriander seeds, and some whole gram masala. I'm adding in cinnamon sticks, 10 to 15 cloves, 25 grams green cardamom, 6 to 7 big cardamom, 1 tablespoon whole peppercorn, 1 nutmeg crushed, 6 to 7 pieces of mace, 1 tablespoon white cumin, 1 tablespoon of fennel seeds, and 4 tablespoons of coriander seeds. Grind until it turns to a fine powder. Now remove this in a bowl and add in the red chilli powder and some whole gram masala and some cloves and some green cardamom and some big cardamom 2 bay leaves broken into 6 to 7 pieces and mix it well If you want you can add salt before putting it in airtight jars, about 1 tablespoon. 
हाफ टू थ्री फोर टी स्पून ऑफ कौरमा मसाला कैन बी एडेड टू वेजिटेबल कौरमा विच इज से अबाउट सेवेंटी फिफ्टी ग्राम ऑफ वेजिटेबल्स वन एंड हाफ टेबल स्पून ऑफ दिस मसाला टू वन के जी ऑफ मीट और चिकन मुगलाई गर्म मसाला मुगलाई क्विजीन डेवलप्ड इन द अर्बन सेंटर्स ऑफ मिडिवल इंडिया विच वॉज इनक्रेडिबली सोफिस्टिकेटेड एंड रिप्रजेंट्स अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ कुकिंग स्टाइल्स सीजनिंग एंड टेक्निक्स This style of cooking which arose from this rich cultural mix is still incredibly popular today. Let's check the ingredients to make this mukhlai garam masala. 5 black cardamom, about 18 to 20 green cardamom, 3 to 5 sticks of cinnamon, 1 teaspoon of cloves, 1 teaspoon of peppercorns, 1 tablespoon black cumin or shahi zeera, 2 to 3 star anise. 4 to 5 mace 2 bay leaves 2 tablespoons of red chili powder and 1 nutmeg crushed in the jar add in the cinnamon green cardamom cloves big cardamom star anise peppercorns crushed nutmeg mace black cumin grind to a fine powder remove in the bowl add in the chili powder bay leaf pieces and some whole garam masala in which we have black cardamom star anise cloves green cardamom and mix them all together preserve in air tight jars and refrigerate and you may use them until 4 months kadai masala if you lead a busy life i recommend you make a fresh batch of this quick kadai masala at home and store it in the airtight containers without the kadai masala to your kadai recipe you won't get that authentic dhaba style taste let's move on to the ingredients of kadai masala we need 2 tablespoons of kasuri methi or the dry fenugreek leaves 4 tablespoons of coriander seeds four long red chilies you may use four kashmiri red chilies or six to seven button red chilies here i am using the regular long red chilies one tablespoon peppercorns one teaspoon cloves about 18 to 20 green cardamom one tablespoon of white cumin one and a half tablespoon of red chili powder two bay leaves broken into pieces three sticks of cinnamon three four teaspoon of turmeric powder and one teaspoon of red chili flakes First we will dry roast the cumin along with peppercorn big cardamom cinnamon green cardamom and roast for a few seconds Now add in the red chilies roast until you get the aroma of the garam masalas and the cumin and also the toasted aroma of the red chilies since i'm getting the great aroma i'm putting off the fire and allowing it to cool completely in the same pan i'm adding in the coriander seeds and roasting them until aromatic Let's allow this to cool completely too. First I'm going to grind the first batch of roasted masala to a fine powder. I'm adding in the cloves before grinding. Now I'm putting in all the roasted masalas and we'll grind until really fine.
Now I'm adding in the roasted coriander seeds and grind until the coriander seeds are coarsely ground. Remove in a bowl and add in the red chilli flakes, red chilli powder, turmeric powder. Now crush the dry fenugreek leaves or the kasuri methi between your palms. And add it to the ground masala. Mix them all up very well. Now add in the broken pieces of bay leaves and some whole garam masala, about 2 to 3 big cardamom, few green cardamom, some cloves, and mix again and store in eight tight jars. You may add about half to 3 4 tablespoon of karai masala to about 750 grams of vegetable karai and one and a half tablespoon of this masala to 1 kg of meat or chicken. Here we come to the end of yet another recipe. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new today. Be sure to drop a like on this video and do consider subscribing for more recipes and cooking tips. Until next time, stay safe, eat healthy.